no it's a, it's a good point and kind of like you know just finishing the thought around like what i was saying it's it's the it's it's you know what is our primary goal on revenue operations what are, what are we responsible for right um if you really kind of think about that it's all at the, at the end goal um and for instance i'll tell you mine right um ours is new business growth ours is uh, our net retention numbers right it's it's customer centric and 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 a new business centric right based on that um ultimately sort of you know you have a uh, go to market that, that that's created from the go to market there's strategy that comes out and then ultimately you have to execute that strategy um so that's that's quite a bit right um and 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 for a revenue operations leader some of the things that they really should be um stepping into the role they should be sort of kind of thinking about or questioning is that hey the processes that we have or the the systems that we have does that truly align with our go to market with the vision of the company right so this is where i kind of go back to why what and how right that is so key uh part of making the decisions that we do um give you some examples right if you are stepping into a role right and then the first thing you need to kind of look at is that you need to look at hey are my sales leaders getting the the right visibility right into the key metrics what are some of the, the big big metrics that that they truly care about okay now you go build out these these key metrics or what have you now that's great that's done but how it's being consumed do you have, do we have the right cadence in place to actually absorb that information now that's a pretty big thing so it's hard for a revenue operationalist to sit in one side and say hey we need to drive this like you know how do i drive this i can drive i can have my own operational cadence but how do i drive this with the uh, with the with the sales leads but that is a key part and that's where the the the, the relationship and the um the trust sort of gets built within between the sales and revenue ops leaders right why it's so important driving that operational cadence is going to be essentially a critical thing and once you do that what ends up happening is that you get to the key issues right away right you're not waiting a quarter you're not waiting two quarters or three quarters to kind of see hey what's the trend line right around hey, hey my forecast uh, my pipeline creation has been down or mkl has been going down but if you have that regular operational cadence then you know you're getting in front of it right away right then you can drive some st strategic decisions off of that to kind of move the needle in the right direction so that's a critical part so like and you know, i said a couple of things right i said why what and how operational cadence those are key things that one should be really truly looking at and then once you have these cadences in place then you can kind of go back and say hey do i do we have everything that they need uh, in terms of uh, job aids right do i have the right metrics if i don't have that then let's go ahead and build this thing out right uh, then you can kind of sort of drive that with the team or yourself right uh, build those uh, key key uh, key metrics um and you can get in front of that that really will expo expose the gaps that you have, not only within your team, um, but also processes, uh, systems, and what have you. So it really sort of kind of helps. Um, uh, the, 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 you can get to the, 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 the issues fairly fast and also uh, have a resolution behind it fairly fast. But it starts with the big question, then having an operational cadence behind it.